death. Today we Hello my kaiju friends, all my kaiju warriors, Dragon Ball Z, Anyverse, Predator, Star Wars, you name it. All oh, the other nerds out there. I just want to say, hello, welcome to JC Entertainment, I'm a nerd. Yep, I've heard it before, but besides me going on, we have got another 10 horror ways to die in Jurassic World. Now, we've, uh, God Send has done Skull Island and Hollow Earth. Now we got Jurassic World. Speaking of Jurassic World, do you like the little symbol there to put there? <laughs> but anyway, besides me blabbing on, should we get watching this? I want to find out what's the most horrible ways to die in Jurassic World. Sorry, I forgot. I was about to say Jurassic Park, but it's not Jurassic Park, it's Jurassic World. Oh, well, anyway, let's go. Play. Say it with me. Ding ding. Good. Warning, this episode simulates fatalities and graphic scenarios that might be unsuitable for some audiences. That's all right, I love it. Viewer discretion is advised. <sighs> I'm gonna be joking. We also advise you don't eat red pasta. <laughs> In this episode, we'll try to figure out one of the most ferocious man-made ecosystems of all time. A set of islands known as the Five Deaths. Yes. Whose creatures constantly Useless. reminded humanity that life will find a way. Yes. With destruction and death. Whoa. Today we will explore Brexit? these methods of killing in gruesome detail. So sit this one out if you have a weak stomach, because today these guys will show no mercy. Love it. Now sit back, hold show on to your no butts, mercy. and get ready to witness the new Are 10 that... ways to die in Jurassic World. Is that show in Jurassic Park as well? This 10 Ways to Die in Jurassic World series will be split into several parts. Today, we will visit oh. one of the islands known for not losing one, but two parks. Isla Nublar. Nublar Isla a Nublar. lush tropical biome Isla that has Sauna. housed many creatures biologically engineered to be public attractions. And consequently ended up putting these parks out of business. But you know what else they can put an end to? You. Number one, death with no escape. Okay, what's this one? Perhaps one of the most feared Raptor. creatures in this entire franchise were these guys, raptors. In Isla Nublar, we witnessed these raptors displaying frightening levels of strategic acumen, communication, and hunting ability. But what makes this specific animal more deadly is the fact that they hunt in packs, mm -hmm. coordinating attacks to catch their prey off guard and swiftly. Now, let's talk about you. Finding yourself alone in the forests of Isla Nublar okay. with these raptors roaming about would automatically change your definition to food. Okay, I'll shit myself. Keep in mind that these <laughs> raptors will always know where you are, smelling you from long distances. Once spotted, a member of the pack would quickly grab your attention by frightening you. But not before another member comes swiftly by attacking you, stare you from at the him flanks. And he comes the right weapons back. found on these raptors are brutal. Razor sharp teeth on their skulls built for slicing off flesh with ease, and claws that are meant to cut deep. Lovely. But another one known for doing the actual killing is this guy down here. These big curved claws are meant to disembowel. In this franchise, it's been observed that raptors sometimes attack humans by biting their heads. This violent method of attack can kill in an instant, as it is very likely that this movement will most likely break your neck and peel parts of your face off. Lovely. Alternatively, these claws could also spill the intestines of an unprotected belly. <laughs> oh, and according to Dr. So Grant, not like it. You are alive. I start to meet you. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Next yeah. up, number two, skewered. So you think that carnivores do all the killing around here? What if we told you that if you mess with the big horn herbivores, there's oh. a big chance this fella could turn you into a hashtag? Oh. In this Nublar, trike specimens can grow to almost 30 feet in length and weigh up to around 10 tons. Mm -hmm. In this franchise, we see that these herbivores can pull up on you pretty fast. Mm -hmm. If you happen to be stupid enough to get close to one of these guys, this animal's massive build will be more than enough to trample you into the dust and process you into ground meat. Alternatively, if you're more unlucky, one of these horns could That's find from the their game. way right through that. you. If the trike lowers its head enough, the most likely place to get impaled would be your chest, since it offers the greatest surface area for the trike to be able to impale. The width of the base of this horn would be wide enough to make contact with your vital organs, oh, such lovely. as lungs, heart, Ooh. liver, and most likely damage your spinal cord, meaning you would get paralyzed and then die in a couple of seconds. Oh, lovely. This would have been the most pain you have ever felt. 
If these horns are capable of factory resetting on oh. like T-Rex, then it's safe to bet these things will send your beauty behind to go meet your maker. <laughs> Number three, blinded and gutted. Dilophosaurus. One thing is getting eaten, and another thing is getting eaten while not being able to do anything about it. Meet the Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. No, not this crap. This Dilophosaurus, <laughs> the Jurassic Park version. Mm. Fortunately for us, there's already a very popular scene that does a very good job at showing us what these things are capable of doing. They were all fully in the grown in Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. We see Dennis and Nedry have an used to get bigger, but they were the fully juvenile grown. Dilophosaurus. Yes, this was a juvenile, or at least that's what we are told. No, no, they it's were fully grown. That these guys can grow a little larger, but this one didn't need to be. Yeah, I was just going to say they were fully grown. It's been confirmed in Cretaceous. This little guy later managed All to dinosaurs train in Cretaceous with a dose of tar -like were fully grown. Poison. This stuff right here is potent enough to do two things: blinding and later paralyzing you, allowing the Dilophosaurus to indulge in your flesh. Lovely. This stuff is most likely made up of a mixture of corrosive agents and neurotoxins that eat through the layers <laughs> of your eyeballs, causing intense pain and blindness. These toxins will eventually be absorbed by your skin oh, and make their way like to the surrounding eyes. nerves, oh. causing paralysis, leaving you handicapped oh. but not dead. The Dilophosaurus will then proceed to delete you from the census by ripping through your abdomen using its array of sharp weapons. Believe okay. it or not, you can still live through this. Had you not been blinded, you would be able to witness the Dilophosaurus rope your guts out until you slowly fade away. Until you slowly Number fade four, away. Number four, whipped and pricked. Admittedly, a weapon oh, such as baby. this would do much more than just a prick. This weapon belongs to the mighty Stegosaurus. A large herbivore, herbivore with several dorsal plates along its back and four Dorse deadly plates, spikes you, ready anyone? to impale just huh? about anything. Huh? But in this episode, we're talking about you. Okay. So what would happen if you ended up being on the wrong end of that tail? <laughs> An animal of this size could swing this thagomizer at high speeds, and combined with the weight behind the blow, this would do more than just send you flying. Let us explain. Okay. It is said that these spikes can measure roughly around two to three feet. Okay. Long enough to completely impale a human being, but that's not all. Remember that you are also getting whipped by this tail at the same time. Lovely. A pierce of this tail, combined with the centrifugal energy forced against your pierced torso, would mean that this impact would not only pierce, but rip your torso simultaneously. Oh. Our bodies no, are not built my belly. to withstand such I need my belly. Meaning that after getting food. yeeted into oblivion, your bodies will only recuperate parts of your ripped, mutilated body. Just but go. there's another type of tail in this island built to do this, but worse. No, Number so. five, Mace of Doom. By now, it should be evident that herbivores on this island have many ways to put you in a coffin. Okay. If you thought this type of tail would hurt, wait till you hear about is. this one. Yep. The Ankylosaurus is one of the most, if not the most heavily armored it's dinosaur literally on attack. the island. Pulling up to one of these creatures' personal space is like asking him to turn you into that red pasta that I know you refuse to get rid of. Yep. Let's find out how. While the exact impact force of these bulky Jurassic World Ankylosaurus oh. is yet unknown, we do know that the real world Ankylosaurus's tail could swing with a force of 4,800 newtons per second. Mm. To put this into perspective, getting hit in the head with a bat by a pro baseball player is a pathetic 13 newtons. So Furthermore, these Jurassic World Ankylosaurus flex the ability to execute a whole 360 while swinging this tail. If and when you catch this club to your upper torso, you can expect every single bone in your upper body to get shattered while spitting out anything close to your eye sockets. That's mouth lovely. And ears. The extreme inner pressures caused by this club would almost liquefy your insides and most likely empty your bowels, leaving a bloody and crappy mess on the floor yeah. that nobody will want to clean up. Nah. Number six, meat eating bull. Let's switch gears and go back to the dinosaurs that will eat you after putting you out of commission. In Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we were introduced to a ballsy medium-sized theropod that seemed too eager to bag these people. The Carnotaurus. Oh. Now, obviously, we are going to discuss the process of getting chewed and swallowed, but it is believed that this particular carnivore uses different methods oh, to Oh, it slams you, as it hits you with the head, and then eats you. has two horns on the top of its skull. Some scientists believe that Carnotaurus actually use these for combat against other members of the same species, mm -hmm. and possibly as a tool to knock down its prey. In this case, 
you. This would most likely happen after an unpleasant encounter with the Carno and while you're running away. Getting hit on your back by the Carno's horned head would cause enough trauma on your spinal cord to possibly paralyze you, but most certainly knock the air out of your lungs. Jesus. A smaller or leaner individual would most likely die from the shock alone. Oh. So now that you're motionless and without air, the Carno would proceed to clamp its jaws around any limbs or torso, shaking you until these rip off. That's lovely. Realistically, life. there are many Love ways life. the Carno could kill, but we figured this method was the most prolonged and painful okay so i wonder what number one is i really want to know what number one on is ground, but let's take this to the next level okay number seven flying lessons so no park full of dinosaurs is completely without a bird cage. and in this particular enclosure we find these things yeah pteranodons these homicidal flying reptiles are the reason you should start learning to look up instead of just looking next to you uh -oh. If you happen to catch yourself in the middle of a flock bird party, make sure to stay down. Because once these guys pick you up, just know the next time you hit the floor, you probably won't be alive to see it. As you can see here, the human build happens to be perfectly shaped to get picked up by these creatures. Oh, Anatomically that's great. speaking, we kind of fit together like a puzzle. <laughs> these giant birds have wingspans that can measure over 20 feet and can flap their wings with enough force to pick up large prey such as you. Getting picked up is not the worst part, since it's portrayed in two films that these creatures usually contest for their prey while airborne. Lovely. Meaning that your soft, squishy, defenseless body could be fair game to get impaled by these long beaks. These come with very sharp tips that are capable of piercing deep into an unarmored victim. But let's say you're lucky enough to not have this happen to you, and you somehow let yourself free. Whee! Back to unlucky. Mm -hmm. Number eight, Quill Kill. If you watch the Netflix show Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, chances are that you are acquainted with this dudette, oh, the Scorpius okay, Rex. Rex. This animal did not appear in the films, but it did here. Its name is inspired by one of its Scorpi genetic Scorpio Rex is known the as first the Scorpion hybrid fish. ever. This fish's spikes, if pressed on, can release toxic venom that could potentially kill if left untreated. This attribute was migrated into the Scorpius Rex we know today. These quills were the culprit behind the death of some dinosaurs in this park, and additionally the reason why these dinosaurs started acting more aggressively. Oh. But what if you get hit with one of these? In one of the episodes, this girl was actually hit with a few quills. Fortunately for her, she didn't die. Although she technically should have since this wound was near the spleen. Yep. Realistically, however, getting hit in any of these vital organs, especially on the chest, could cause internal bleeding, and if it was on the heart, immediate death. Not to mention the effects the toxins would have on your body. Other immediate shutdowns would be caused if you got hit in the eye sockets near the jugular or nape. Realistically, this animal is oh, more man. than equipped with other weapons to catch bodies in Isla Nublar, but we will leave the biting to the one who does it best. Rexy. Number nine, brunched to death. Rexy. If you've seen one of our other 10 Ways to Die in Way Skull Island you. episodes, you will recall that there were animals with jaws capable of biting right through a human torso. But this island has a creature that will put them to shame. Oh. You know who it is. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Get in. Or this one, more commonly known as Rexy, is the T-Rex that roamed this island for Rexy's quite some the biggest time now and fed on a couple peeps before. But how oh. does it feel to be eaten in such a manner? To study what these people felt, we first used this guy as an example. As we can see, the manner in which the T-Rex clamped her massive jaws around this guy left this dude's legs hanging out. We know that a T-Rex has a tremendous bite force, but mm -hmm. realistically, the T-Rex wouldn't have bite the force. need to exert all this bite force on a small human, or else he'd be cut in half. Rexy, in this case, would want to eat the whole carcass. Look, you wouldn't bite a hot dog as hard as he can, right? Yeah, because you don't have to. Mm -hmm. A subtle bite would have sufficed. What this dude felt, however, was anything but subtle. T-Rex have 6 to 12 inch teeth with small serrations to aid in but cutting. It says, These so would immediately that. pierce through a human torso. Oh, you just felt that. Be dead just yet. In order to die completely, these teeth would have to pierce the head yep. or the heart. Right now, yep, this yep, guy yep, yep. is in immense pain. Lovely. I mean, come on. You can still see him swinging his arms everywhere. <laughs> what kills someone in this position is the imminent blood loss, which will come around in a few seconds. The violent shaking would first proceed to tear ligaments, stretch muscles, and break even more of your backbone. So we can guess this dude died just before finally getting swallowed. 
Bet this was the first time someone walked you through a T-Rex bite. <laughs> Number 10, hunted for sport. Indominus Rex. In these previous methods that were discussed, you were put in a coffin because one, you were Indominus stupid Rex. and got too close, or two, the dinosaurs were just hungry. Mm -hmm. We're about to discuss an animal that will put Indominus your life insurance Rex. to work just because it wanted to. For fun, that is. Yeah. The Indominus Rex is arguably the most powerful dinosaur on this island, mm -hmm. created to be bigger faster and stronger than the t-rex this immediately told us that talking about how this animal the dominus rex would, would destroy the spinosaurus as well time. so instead we by that. to talk about how this thing could literally manhandle you until you die mm -hmm. for this section we will be focusing on a very strange and significant attribute found on this creature an opposable thumb which is defined as a digit which is capable of being well, moved freely humans, and independently. To grab. This is what allows us and primates to grip on monkey. and manipulate them. Monkey. Now, we have seen Big that monkey. the Indominus can actually pick people up similar to how you would pick up a water bottle. Splendid. These hands are but it wasn't a water bottle. And strong. It was a kebab. The constricting effects of getting picked up by the Indominus would not only scare the feces out of you, but will make it more difficult to breathe. Oh, the Indominus would proceed to raise you up to its mouth, where it would bite the upper part of your torso right off and then drop you why because this guy kills for this fun. girl give me <laughs> getting this guy to throw yes, hands at kill you for will sports. only result in you getting impaled by these long and very resistant claws given how smart and cruel this animal turned out to be we could get Did you know the only creative creatures the that help the sport are humans you. but we will stop here before youtube guidelines decides to stop this channel from existing to prevent this, please leave a like and subscribe Where so have we you can Patreon? continue to bring well this done. disturbing content to your feed. And as always, thank you so much for watching. No worries, brother. And we will see you on the next island. You too. He's a sauna? Wait, what? <gasps> yes. See this. That was brilliant. A lot. And if he's going to bring uh, Isla sauna into this. Oh, we're going to get the Spinosaurus. Who's missed the Spinosaurus? I certainly have. But I did love that. As he's done it, he's done Skull Island, The Hollow Earth. I've watched all them, all you guys know. Now he's got Jurassic World. Now I cannot wait for Isla Sauna, Jurassic Park 3. Let's see. Whew, let's see what's the worst ones to die. But me personally, well, which one did I think was the worst? Um, well, they're all worst, weren't they? Yeah, they're all worse. But anyway, besides that, if you want to check that video for yourselves, be in the description below. And what did you guys think? Did you think... Well, which one do you think was the worst way to die? Le oh, no. Worst way to die. Let me know in the comment sections below. Oh, no, I'll choose the raptor, actually. The raptor, because you get eaten alive. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more. End it here. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And I will see you around. Take care, everyone. Have an amazing, amazing day. Splendid day or night. Peace, guys. Take care. Life finds a way. Unless you get eaten. Peace. Splendid.